The food of Afghanistan, that's a very unique dish we make. The whole menu is my favorite because it's a small menu and I liked it. And I'm a big uh, meat eater and uh, my favorite dish is mantu and lamb kebab. I serve something where I believe it's good, the way I like it. If I like it, I serve it. We got a very good support from the neighbor here. We got a very good support from the people, our customer, and the food is uh, delicious. The service is very friendly. The place is uh, not bad, it's, it's okay. And the price is very reasonable. And so we want those people and um, our new customer to give us a try, and I'm sure they will, won't be disappointed. All right, so Kathy, the Cabell House is very distinct. It is, and it's, it's a wonderful dining experience. The food is terrific and has been consistent over the last year. Um, Abdul Kazir, the uh, uh, proprietor, and his family had the unfortunate experience to open the restaurant one week before 9-11. Needless to say, I believe business dropped off. Anyway, I thought this might be a good place to go to went up there and it is my favorite restaurant for value and everything else. Wow, that's pretty. What's your favorite thing to eat when you go there? The vegetable combination plate with sautéed pumpkin and eggplant uh -huh. and spinach. I just think it is very good. Uh, and the rice, which is wonderful, with raisins and carrots. Could be a little bland, however, we ask for the hot sauce. I don't know what the hot sauce is, but it's wonderful and it's very spicy. And what about for you, Street? How was the food when you went? It was fantastic. I really liked this place. It was, um, the meats were super tender, um, well marinated, well prepared. Uh, the rice, we had Afghani rice, which is a little different from basmati rice, um, but it's really light and fluffy and it complements a really quite hearty meat selection there. I had the, uh, the mantu. Which for, for an appetizer, which is a bit like a, a pierogi, um, uh -huh. except it has a, a wonderful yogurt sauce on it. It has mint, chopped mint on it. Really nice flavors, very light, very very edible. Um, and you know the service was, they were so friendly. There was a lot of items that we, we were not familiar with, but they were very helpful, they were very, very informative. The owner came by and says, you know, how are you guys Abdul? doing? Yeah, yeah. You can, how are you guys doing? Do you like the food? Nice day, you know? It's very friendly. It's, uh, it's very nice to have you to be here. Well, very nice to have you here. Thanks for your coming and your support. Everything. Can we come back Tell again? I'd be happy to give you menu again. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, sure. A wonderful experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Right, well, I think Brian's going to paint a little bit of a different picture. Well, I, I know we're all at the same place. I'm sure of it. In fact, on Dumpster, right? Right. right okay. <laughs> um, I didn't have that experience at all. I went with five people, and we're the only ones in the restaurant again. Which I just, uh, I'm always the only one in the restaurant, and, and um, I, I had uh, maybe we should start taking it personally. Or something. <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, it just adds to my list, you know. Um, I uh, I didn't have a good meal, um, but in defense of the restaurant, that's not my kind of food. Uh, it never has been my kind of food. Afghanistan food, as you probably know, is a blend of uh, Persian food and um, Indian, okay. Indian yeah, yeah. food, mm -hmm. right. How do you find the spices there, Kathy, in the food? They use a lot of like cardamom, coriander in the cooking and... Actually, the, the food probably could be spicier, mm -hmm. but I ordered this green sauce. They bring the green sauce, and I'm not sure what the sauce is, but it was wonderful. And I've tried the other things, the shish kebabs. They, they marinate the chicken. It's just wonderful, but my favorite is the uh, uh, vegetable combination right. plate. You know, and it makes you want to eat your vegetables, I guess. That's, uh, <laughs> Abdul told Absolutely. me that's one of the most popular dishes is oh. that spiced pumpkin that they make. He said they, they sell so much of it. The dessert did you try did that? No, no. <laughs> I, may have to, I mean, I know we're at the right place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dessert we did not have that night, we've had in the past, is a cornstarch pudding. And it tastes like you think cornstarch pudding would taste. It's probably not what I would choose normally, but it's what people from evidently Afghanistan eat. So I, you know, I try it. It's interesting when we talked about, you know, Afghani cuisine, you know, probably not, not a lot of people actually know what that's like. And if you think of it as a blend between like maybe Persian and Indian, it's like the uh, yogurt sauce that you 
mentioned, yeah. it's very typical to me, like Indian cuisine. It could have, it, you know, if going on that rationale, it could have been spicier. Mm -hmm. um, my girlfriend and I were talking, that's maybe adjusting to the palate of the local area. I think maybe what they eat at home is probably completely different. It's so uh, funny because I thought it was too spicy. I, I had two, two different appetizers um, that had that same yogurt sauce on them, and I couldn't tell them right. apart. And I didn't know what I was eating, and, I, and, and they were, so I didn't eat, I didn't eat either. You know, I was just, it just didn't, it just did not work for me. Mm -hmm. But it was reasonably priced. Which cool. <laughs> works for everyone. <laughs> it was very, pretty much. Yeah. Very, I jumped very on good. that bandwagon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a very good deal. And uh, I think that one of the nice touches that he had was the, just the, the, the welcome mat. This is, uh, we're glad you're here. And it was such a nice thing to see. I don't, it's a small detail, but, uh, you know, it's, it was such a, a nice welcoming feel. And, uh, you know, especially in, in lieu of events that happen in New York, it's so important that, you know, that they reinforce it. We, hey, we're a neighborhood restaurant. Mm -hmm. we, we're glad you're here. This is not about, you know, world politics. This is about our cuisine, and this right. is about enjoying, you know, being together and eating it. Kathy, this is your favorite place, so give us a summary of it. It's family-owned. They're just charming, and the food is basic but very good. All right, we're going to save Brian for last, so it's mm -hmm. your turn. <laughs> um, affordable, very tasty, well-done dishes. Uh, and uh, it just feels like a neighborhood restaurant. It's a, it's a great place to hang out. And go, Brian. <laughs> it, uh, it's good for other people. It just wasn't good for me. All right, well, you can find the Cobble House at 3320 Dempster in Skokie, 847-763-9930. They're open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday from noon till 10 p.m. and open for dinner only Sunday and Monday from 4 to 9 p.m. You have to BYOB here, and the average tab per person is about $15.